Now let me say I first. Robert Matthews. I'm Bob Matthews. And I was in on the very beginning of this YMCA back in 1959. Oh, and there was no YMCA in this area of the city. I, I came here from Kansas City, Missouri. I've been in the Midwest, and everywhere I had been, we had a YMCA. Even when I was in college, I stayed and I stayed at night in the YMCA in Emporia, Kansas. So I was, I was amazed when I got to San Diego and this area of the city, there was no YMCA. There was an office up on Market Street, but it was in the Urban League, and it was a shoddy place, real shoddy place, I should say. And one, uh, we had a teacher over at Ocean Beach School by the name of Josh Tug. And Josh Tug organized, got a group of us together. We were school teachers, probation workers, and we all longed to have a workable YMCA. And someone got a hold of Fred Davies, who owned Davies Motors downtown, and also his family owned Greenwood uh, Memorial Park and Marchuary before it was sold to a national uh, group. And I believe Fred donated 10 acres in the beginning. 10 acres, but it was 10 acres of barren land. Uh, Josh Tall, Noble Shade, Ed Fletcher, Slaughter, all of our wives, we all got together and decided that we were going to build a YMCA. And Fred Davies got two barracks for us from the old Army Navy Academy out in La Jolla. We had no money. And they had to get, they had to bring those the barracks here. And so John Hanson Moving Company agreed, and he brought two buildings, two army barracks, type barracks, Clonson Huts, and they're over on this side. And they put them on the lot. Now, the next thing was there was no foundation. So after work each evening, we rented generators. After work each evening, we would come out and spend several hours every evening with generated lights, and we, we dug the trenches. None of us had ever really put together a plumbing situation, but there was a Navy man by the name of Eugene, Elmore Eugene DeWitt, and DeWitt guided us into digging the trenches, putting up the sewage system and things of that nature. And that's how the YMCA got started in 1959. Now, it took us a while to get it built. Uh, and Ernie Uno, who was of Japanese ancestry, became the first executive director and the first, uh, really, uh, director who was not European type uh, in the county. And then in 1963, Ernie, who wanted to go back to Hawaii, closer to his homeland, Ernie decided he was going to give up the directorship. And at that time, there was an individual, we looked at several individuals, and we wound up uh, eventually getting a, a man by the name of Rufus DeWitt from Mobile, Alabama. And Rufus became the first African American executive director in the count, city and county of San Diego and throughout the nation. He became very, very fam famous. And this uh, YMCA began to grow. Now, we have, I have to also say that a, a, bit, a great benefactor to the YMCA was a, a very elderly man who was in his 80s. His name was. Uh, 
Pappy Hazard, Roscoe Hazard. And Roscoe Hazard, we decided we were going to have, uh, to eventually put a swimming pool in. And so I was president at the time, and Fred Davies arranged for me to talk with Pappy Hazard. Well, now, Pappy Hazard was an old man at that time. He was in his 80s. And you know what the climate was back in those days? Well, Fred did not tell Pappy that I was a person of color. And so we go out into Mission Valley, and Pappy Hazard had buffaloes out uh, in Mission Valley at that time. Uh, there was simply a uh, dirt road out in that area. It was not the super highway and all that we have today. Hazard Center, he gave, that was his property. So we, I go out and I walk in. Now Fred had schooled me. Fred had told me that Pappy might say anything to me. <laughs> and that if I showed any sign of resentment, we might lose everything. So I go in walk in and I could tell by all the clerks and the personnel uh, that Fred was someone that they were expecting but they weren't expecting me and you could tell that and so we entered the inner sanctum and Pappy looks up and he used Pappy every other word was a curse word I can't use it since we have young people here but Pappy looked and he said to Fred Fred, don't shock me like that. By, by God, you didn't tell me he was a colored boy, you know? And so I listened to him, kept my temper, didn't lose it. And he says to me, uh, you know, a swimming hole is nothing but a hole in the ground. A swimming pool is nothing but a hole in the ground. And I'm going to build that pool but I'm going to build it my specification. And he did build a pool at that time, which was one of the best YMCA pools in anywhere in Southern California. Uh, we started off with a big bang here. And I could go on and on, that's good, that's because Pappy became, very, <laughs> Pappy became very, very uh, interested in the Y, and he did a lot to help this one.